It seems in the process of remembering Ash and Yoshi, something else had to replace it in the forgotten recesses of my mind. Seems like it's big enough for two things. There is a piece of Wonder Wool that I collected but did not show in editing. So there you are. All the pieces of Wonder Wool in that last level. Thank you to all those who pointed it out. Wouldn't have known without you. Wow. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, I'd say the World 4 picked up quite a bit, wouldn't you? We had a very exceptionally creative concept for a level. I don't think I could put it any, any other way. My only question is, why the heck was it represented by a giant gemstone? This isn't a house. It's very clearly a gem and not a cave level taking place inside of a haunted mansion, but uh, that's really the only bad thing I can say about it. Then, moved on to Yoshi Branches Out, a very cute looking level that, well, maybe not the most unique on a gameplay level, was certainly nice to look at, and yeah, World 4 got a little bit less bland. No, a lot a bit less bland, because that's a quarter of the world. No, a third of the world that I have praised three levels in a row. Well, let's see if we can make it four now, as Leopard Yoshi dashes off toward Naval Piranha Sewer. I've always been kind of a connoisseur of these sorts of things. And uh, sounds like Naval Piranha has as well. Everything is free. Um, I actually tested out if turning off the game gets rid of the everything's free. No, it doesn't. I have it all right here. I'm going to go for all you can eat watermelon because this right here is a brilliant example of a power badge creating almost an entirely different level. Sorry. You didn't have cell wall yet. Cell wall is some serious stuff. You can't stand up to that. Not even if you're a car. We've been over this before. Nothing? Oh, nope. There was something. There was something. And it was just a Miiverse patch, because that's how everything is lately. Oh, what? Uh, no, I must I must eat my fruits and veggies. I swear if a watermelon is actually technically a vegetable. I know that uh, pineapples are berries, and when you actually find out the biological classification of things, nothing makes any sense, because there's... I think out of all the fruits that are actually berries, only like two of them actually have berry in the name, and the rest of them are actually classified as something else. Looks like there's Patui Piranhas, fitting that Naval Piranha would live among his own kind, hiring his own kin to protect him in his castle. It's kind of funny just like how easily watermelon seeds take out everything, how they're just these unstoppable bullets of greatness. As always, we can skip our eggs across the water, changing things, and we can skip our eggs across the water not changing things as well, just simply getting collectibles. We'll take those out before they're a problem, and uh, that was a new enemy. It is the less successful of Shigeru Miyamoto's plants with feet. It was a stalking piranha plant. Because it, you know, stalks you because it can walk, and it's also a stalk because it's a plant. It, it's actually pretty cleverly named. Its name cleverness is on par with Pikmin, even if its success is not, so I gotta give him points for that much. Eggplant, give me that. Speaking of other cleverly named plants that have human-like features, that just seems to be a running theme now, doesn't it? I think we know what kind of guy to expect that we're going to be fighting here today. Another bundle of Wonder Wool. Get rid of those remaining seeds. Take out your pent-out frustration so you can eat a pipe. Shouldn't be too good for the bowels. And then... Ground Pound. Under oh, didn't even need a Ground Pound, actually. Meant to Ground Pound, but didn't. And we know our running water from our time with Poochie. Once again, these cannot give eggs. Eating them will not yield any kind of... No! Any kind of... No. Uh, okay, well, it's fine. I was intending to have to play the stage twice anyway, not because of lack of confidence, but you'll understand momentarily soon enough. If you're a very big Yoshi fan, uh, to the point where you played the original Yoshi's Island a ton and know all the secrets in that game, you might already know what I'm talking about, even if you've never played this one. Hmm, yes. If not, I don't dare spoil it for you. Don't worry. I'm very much about um, keeping the integrity of the narrative in check. There that is. That's, oh boy. Um, no, it's fine. Okay, now there's plenty of room. Never mind. Got worked up over nothing, as is commonly the case with me. And what is, okay, what is... What is this? We got running water against us. This is why I recommended uh, the uh, watermelon seeds. One of the reasons, at least, is just that when the water is forcing your movement and it's forcing you toward enemies, it doesn't put any stress on having to make an awkward jump or realizing something too late. It's just simple as pressing B to use a watermelon on it. Unfortunately, it doesn't make that any easier, but it does make uh, dealing with those little tiny 
little baby piranha plants a lot easier. Uh, oh, and the stocking piranha plant as well. Yeah, you're actually gonna get to see what they are. Their feet are represented by little bow ties. <laughs> so their bodies are just kind of tied off to give them hands and feet. It's really cute. <laughs> get over there, please. Get over there, please. Ha faster movement might also be good for this. Um, all right. So yeah, you see him just kind of waddling around. They're uh, very adorable for freakish freaks of nature, but um, you know, what can you do? Uh, if you hit the stalks, they will just merely get cut down to size and then eventually sprout back up again. Gotta hit the noggins if you want to take them out for good, which is what I am staying around here to do. Oh, nope. Ah, I'll hit it eventually, there we go. Nothing for getting that, okay, just wanted to make sure. Whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, no. It's like, oh no, but also has a surprise added to it. It's very convenient because in a tight situation, you're not gonna say, whoa, oh no. It saves on the resources when you are in a panic state and cannot expend said resources. There that is, oh boy, okay. Now we can rush through. Oh, no we can't. Collectibles just love proving me wrong, now don't they? It's like they exist just to taunt me. Okay, fine, I took a hit anyway, let's just go through. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. Um, over here, ground pound. Those with sharp eyes will get to gaze at a beautiful underground waterfall that I would love to fall asleep next to. There's a nice little nook and cranny. No one's gonna disturb you here, even if it's inside of an enemy castle. No, she doesn't care. He's just out to live the leisurely life. That's what this is all for. Fighting for the status quo. He understands how important of a thing that is. In fact, when you really think about it, that's what all superheroes are fighting for. Come on. Nothing? Really? Nothing? Um, I'm a little tempted to see if there's something hidden in that wall over there, but I also kind of don't want to chance it. They're... Nah, they wouldn't put anything in those walls, I'm pretty sure. It's a little bit too mean. <laughs> Getting a little bit too hyper, let's cool off. The splashes of the waterfall lightly caress your face as you just relax and drift gently off to sleep. All right, that's enough of that. After all, Leopard Yoshi does need to stop and take a rest every once in a while. Yeah, he can run 70 miles an hour, but only for a few seconds, and then gets very fatigued afterward. It's kind of one of the downsides of selecting him for this mission, but I thought, you know, if anything was going to be able to outrun a plant, it would probably be a leopard. All right, I'm thinking of cheetahs, not leopards. I swear if they're exactly the same thing, and I'm just, like, thinking... He does look... He does remind me more of cheetahs with his pattern, but again, I'm not exactly in... Expert on schooly type things. What, we missed two flowers at the beginning of this? What? I was thinking maybe things were a little bit open-ended and we were gonna go back and get one of them though, but wow, uh, I know where one of those is. I certainly don't know where the other one is. Bomb guy, it's been a while since we've seen you. We can just blow up the bombs, not even have to worry about them at all. Nothing hidden, nothing, nothing, okay. Got my hearts, did not get greedy by just spamming my watermelon right there. And we have a very colorful spectrum of pipes right here. I like it when pipes aren't just green. There's even some very slightly different greens being used where the one up top was more uh, dark green. This watermelon is gonna respawn every single time we go in or out of a pipe, so I'm gonna ignore it for the time being just cause you can't hang on to it when going through essentially a door. Uh, we got some uh, perler bead versions of enemies over there. I think this pink pipe is what is required to move onward. Yes, it is. Go back, go back, go back, go back. I like how I guessed every single pipe perfectly on my first try. <laughs> I wish I could say that was me no lifing, but it wasn't. It was just extremely dumb luck. Going down into the purple. Nothing hidden at all. Up into the red. Down into the orange, and then going up into the yellow should be the very last room that has yet to be explored. Which gives perler bead versions of these things. Perler beads cannot be eaten under any circumstances. Um, trust me, I've tried. And they spawn non-perler bead versions of themselves. That's really weird. Didn't make you sit through all that. Bam, bam, bam. Now it's time for bombs. Ah, uh, that was something else. Uh, oh, I was invisible there for a second. You eat that one, you eat this one, and then can I eat you? No, I cannot eat you. Can I go into you? Yes, I can go into you, but I can't eat you. 
think I just gave everybody a big case of face palmitis with that one, and oh! There I go, realizing things one second too late. I got greedy eating too many of the pipes, because you have to be able to go into this pipe, and there has to be a floor under it. And that leads to another flower, so... Good thing I was planning on replaying the stage from the beginning, otherwise that would have really sucked! Haha! -ha! Not getting past me! Not getting everything truly past me! Took that pipe and I moved it somewhere else. To a place that was more beneficial. There's the Wonder Wall. I got all five of those somehow. It's the flowers giving me trouble. You? And that looks awfully final, wouldn't you say? Which is why we're gonna get a secret that is once again beats. Feel like those things that you bounce off of are inspired by hacky sacks, but I don't know if they actually are. They just kind of look like it. Uh, give me that. Boom. No, don't boom. No! There's an object blocking that door. I should not be able to open that. Are you actually serious? This is a very different boss room right off the bat. We're allowed to move around a little bit before getting into the fight. How dare you come this far? How dare you, I say! Wake up, Naval Piranha! It's supper time! Yoshi's the main course, so bon appetit! That's pretty cool! This is a callback to the original Yoshi's Island, similar to how Bert the Bashful was. Oh, that was, uh, not a miracle in three dimensions. That was just kind of plain bad. Uh, oh gosh, uh, get, uh, get rid of the seeds, Yoshi, get rid of the seeds! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Uh, wow, this went really badly very quickly. Come on, eat the bomb, thank you. And then, whoop! Eat, have him eat that, and into the belly button. Seems like everyone's gotta have a band-aid over some part of their body. It's a shame that Kamek does not offer his workers health care, or otherwise his bosses might not have weaknesses for us to exploit at all. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is it this? Yes, you can break away the vines by all you can eat water bell. That was one of the reasons I suggested it. Uh, now, give me the bomb. No. Uh, these guys definitely can be uh, moved out of the way. There it is. Uh, can I? It is. He is flinching from it. Maybe it is affecting him a little. Uh, come on. No. This was a great choice for a power up, guys. Promise. It was good for the stage, though. But out. Oh no, no! I didn't mean to eat that. No! Hurry! <laughs> Spit like you've never spat before. Spit like your least favorite person in the entire universe is right in front of your face. Shouldn't be too hard to imagine because Kamek was just in the room. Uh, he was just sitting there waiting for me to throw the bomb at him. Come on. Let's do better this time. The piranha plants come down, they sweep outward, we aim up, and then plop it right in. He even goes up to it. I guess he has no eyes, so he can't see that it's a bad idea. Uh, can I deal with these? Yes, I can. I can block them from even coming out. It makes this hazard a lot easier to deal with as now they are starting to move up and down. Whoa, oh, that was bad timing. Only one of them to avoid and I was having trouble. I like how there's a uh, knitting needle just kind of stuck in it in the middle. Whoa. All right. Anytime, buddy. Anytime. You taunted me for a while. I finally got the hang of what I'm, the basic concept of how I'm supposed to fight you using watermelon. At least you can do is humor me. There's one and it's gonna sweep. There's two, and it's gonna sweep after the first one sweeps again. And then, whoop! Kapow! Kerpow! Don't you just hate it when the result screen steals your pants? Oh, I missed three of them. Oh, that's right, I know where the second one is. Okay, so I know where two of the three are. That shouldn't be all that bad, only one that I have to pinpoint. The 
There it is! This is a good power-up. You can probably tell what it does from the icon, but just in case you haven't figured it out, oh, there's gonna be opportunities and Naval Piranha Yoshi. Shower curtains that sound a lot less cool when I call them that. Naval Piranha Yoshi, you go back into your own castle after I just skinned somebody alive and then molded his skin and organs in my own image and then called him my friend. Pull items to you with ma your magnetic force. If you remember this badge of mystery that I kept talking about saying you want to wait a little bit longer before playing this, that was it. For the curtain stage, everything is loads easier if you have that. For really any of the special stages where things are really, really challenging in order to get all the collectibles, that makes them loads easier and is why I was recommending that from the beginning, saying that until you get a certain badge, you'll probably know what it is. That's that. You saw those just flew right into me, even if they were on my sides as they were going down. These are just flying up into me. It's not gonna be nearly as jerkish whenever they surprise you with a power-up. Unfortunately, only one badge can be worn at a time, so no selecting that and then selecting see invisible objects at the same time so that there's no challenge for many collectibles. It's just a matter of which challenge from collectibles do you not want to have to deal with. And I think that's fair. Just getting a freebie on one of them. Yeah, it's magnetic force is downright powerful. It's really potent stuff. That green pipe looks a little suspicious, but it's nothing. Oh, no, it was something. It was something. What could you ever be? Whoop. Not gonna let you all hit the ground. You will never know pain if you do not exist. And I'm sorry I have to kill you in order to feel good about myself. Another really nice thing is that if maybe, maybe you wanna go out for full hearts on every level. It makes it so that all those jerkish times that they stick heart clouds over bottomless pits and they're all gonna fall away in a second if you don't know that they're coming, kind of eliminates that just screwing you out of getting the top rank. There is flower number two. So all that leaves is number five. Another thing about stocking piranha plants I didn't mention is you can eat their necks. Wow, that is such a good badge. <laughs> what would I have ever done without you? I thought I'd show that my eggs are color-coded to my being. They're significantly more green to red ratio. Makes sense, my kids would have my genes. Now, uh, no, 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 Yoshi. Or Noshi, being efficient with my syllables once again, slash making puns. That'd be a good excuse. I'm not making bad puns. I'm just being efficient with my syllables. Get with the times. So that next time somebody gives me grief over them. Uh, there it is, flower number five that I so greatly screwed myself out of before. Now, the reason why I wanted to play this level again was not out of any lack of confidence for getting the collectibles, though I suppose that was some justification. It was also not out of there being some kind of branching path that I could only show while playing twice. No. Had nothing to do with missing showing where the health was before the boss. Instead, it has to do with that very important distinction that the boss room allows moving around before the fight. So then what happens if... Oh my! That's... Yeah! It's been fun, but it's time for you to become Yoshi Sushi! <laughs> It's unfortunately not still an insta-win, yet it is a very clever nod to a great Easter egg. And that is every single solitary final flower there is to be found in the Bogs of World 4. Which means I don't even need to look at this icon to know what this is. There is no way I could ever forget this stage.
I consider this the second hardest level in the game. I think, bar none, much, much harder than any special stage up to that, up till now. Next time on Yoshi's Willy World, Naval Piranha 2. Now it's personal. See you guys then.